I I feel like with everyone in this world, we have a plethora of stories. It doesn't even have to be just one. We are every day. I feel like we can even have a new story, right? Of the, something that changed us, something that shaped us. And so for my story, for me being a little kid growing up and things, one pivotal moment in my life was when I was about 16, 15, 16, I feel like I was taken advantage of by a 19 year old guy. And he just told me basically that if, if I wanted to be with him, then I would need to do certain things to be with him. And after doing these certain things and trying to prove my worth, he hung up on me and he never spoke to me again. And going through that through my life and never telling anyone until I'm 35 years old, I can't even tell you the impact that had on my life. Like feeling so shameful that one, thinking it was my fault, thinking that I must have done something, trying to figure this out, but also doing that on my own. Uh, I mean, a 16 year old girl that knows nothing. I grew up in church my whole life. So of course, who am I going to tell around me, right? Like, what are you going to do? Go to the pastor and tell him what you did? Like, no, you're not going to do that. That's so shameful. That's not even a thought in your mind at that point. So having to go through such a shameful thing and then just continually to add upon, 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 you know, oh, I'm shameful about this. Well, this added in. Well, since I didn't tell anybody about this, I surely can't tell anybody about this. And your life just goes into this one big mess where you're dealing with so many difficulties by yourself and some people can't take it and that's yeah. ridiculous that's ridiculous that there are so many people in this world that you could literally just say hey i'm struggling with this and just let that person hear it and it would heal you in ways you don't even you can't comprehend i can't even explain it to you because it's so beautiful and so moving I, it's just it's just amazing so what happened to me is through going through this about a couple months ago, I really, really struggled. I was down and out. I was crying every day. I was trying to figure out why am I unhappy? How could I be unhappy? I have a house. It's beautiful. I have four children. I have a husband that unconditionally loves me. How could I look at myself and think that I'm not where I should be? How, how could that even be a thing, right? Like everybody, society says, you got this, you got this, you got this. And I checked it off my list. So where's the happiness come? Why am I not receiving this? Yeah. And it's through looking at all that, looking at myself and understanding finally uh, that all this shame built up inside of me really is giving me this shell of a person that I don't even know. And so now that I'm going through life in the shell of a person that, you know, I'm so shameful for everything. So I have on this mask of this happy person that's loving life and here for everybody. And I'm here for everybody else's growth, but I never get to grow. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. Like, how am I sitting around watching everyone around me grow? I'm clapping for them. I'm cheering from the sidelines. I'm giving them every bit of positivity but nobody is giving anything to me including myself yeah and it's just mind-boggling to me that this is a daily struggle with everyone that i didn't even realize until i'm 35 years old i'm going through my daily life just thinking this is how life is and then all of a sudden passing before me it's like hey you know if you just share this story i wonder how you feel and that's where i got i got to the point of if I'll just share this, I wonder what could happen. What's the worst that could happen, right? You say you don't like me. Well, I don't like myself. So you're not yeah. doing, you're not going to hurt me any more than I've hurt myself. That's yeah. wild. So I come and I decide, okay, I'm going to share this story. Like I told you, no one knows this story. Like my husband does not know this story. And so I decide that I'm going to randomly start a podcast and I'm going to share it. I'm going to see what happens. And through tears and anxiousness, I just shared my whole story and I put it out there. And I could not believe people that have just passed me by, acquaintances that I never thought would give me the time of day because I didn't deserve it, because I see how these amazing people are, right? I can always find amazing people around me. I just don't think I'm worthy enough to talk to them. Yeah. So when I shared my story and these people that I put up here on this amazing level started meeting me where I was at mm -hmm. and started saying, hey, I felt that way before. It wasn't the same situation, but 
man, I could tell you some stories where I have felt so shameful. I didn't think I'd ever get over it. And these people start coming out of the woodworks and things that I never expected to even bless me, bless me more than I could ever even imagine. Because you have people saying, I'm so sad. Can I just call you? Can I just share my sadness with you? Can you just hear it and tell me that it's okay? Tell me that I'm going to make it, that I'm going to get up and I'm going to go on the next day and it's going to be okay. And you wouldn't believe the amount of people that could just absorb that and change their whole lives. It's just, it's incredible.